you know, part of one of our businesses is security division. We've got 1,500 guards across the country. The thing that stands out to me is we're talking, this is what I've seen in the industry, we're talking about bringing professionals in at a management level. The industry tends to promote good guards to be somewhat worse supervisors and even worse managers without any guidance or direction. And I, and I guess that's the case for any industry. But we've tried to plug that hole ourselves in our company. I'm sure there are others doing the same. It's frustrating to see uh, young fellows that want to progress as a leader and there's no, there's nothing for them to, nowhere for them to go. A lot of people in the room today came from policing or military background and, and we, br we bring those skills. We've already been developed in those areas. Out here in the real world, they don't get that. That's a source of frustration. And I think what we've tried to do is give them all the skills they need to lead, lead uh, and or manage processes, uh, but certainly lead people. The laws are changing all the time, whether it's work, health and safety, the bullying laws, or just leadership principles, whatever it is, um, they don't know them. And they find themselves in charge of 30, 40, 50 people. So how, how do you address that? Two years ago, we started a le young leaders program. Um, it took time to progress it because um, when I first joined the company, what I did was I wrote a leadership task book and um, gave it to all of our operations, you know, line managers and said, deliver it weekly. And uh, they're very busy and, and a lot of them didn't possess the skills to be able to deliver it. So I started delivering it myself at night and then that sort of just picked up legs and, and progressed and that's happened, that's happening in every state now. So in our company, we're growing our own. We've got people now that have been put through our, our own RTO with a Cert 4 in risk or work health and safety, done the leadership program. So they're supervising a site and doing risk assessments for us, or etc. Less than three years ago, they were guards. So I think there's a certain amount you can do yourself as a company. You know, if you want people to do a job, you've got to skill them to do it. And when you've got 30, 40, 50 guards being managed by someone that's got no idea, it can lead to big problems. Industrial relations issues, you know, bullying, harassment, whatever it is, they don't know how to deal with it. It's been very good, very rewarding. Uh, yeah, very rewarding. I, I'm always surprised whenever I teach, it's just the level of enthusiasm and, and a hunger to learn from people. Is that what you find with your leadership program? It took a while. Uh, it took a while to take off and get it out there amongst the, you know, the, all the guards. You know, I give them projects and they, some of them submit fantastic projects, little assignments about I don't know, writing file notes or um, you know, writing, doing a work health and safety review and they get all excited about it and, uh, and it culminates in the end, after a three month program, they do a, a, a night where they present 10 minute presentations and you sort of change them from being a guy that turns up in the classroom on day one from wearing you know, thongs and a pair of shorts to on graduation night wearing a suit and introducing and welcoming um, our VIPs that have visited them along the way. We've had uh, industry leaders, not just from security, uh, from all sorts of backgrounds come along each week and talk to them about their views on leadership and uh, it's been very successful. When you're presenting that sort of training, you're presenting it in the evening to your people and are they doing that in their own time? We do pay, there are, we do fast track courses where they'll come in and do a full two days. Um, generally I teach on a Tuesday night where they'll come in on their own time. Uh, they finish work, uh, we teach it in Sydney here, we teach it in Parramatta, so it's sort of central. Uh, but we've done it at sites. Uh, it's not just leadership stuff we're doing. We do a lot of other things as well to, to grow them as people. M most importantly, to empower the people that we pay to supervise or manage the site to manage it. It's been successful. Um, some, most have stayed and gone on to being supervisors. But those skills they can take wherever they go in the industry, they're life skills that they can take anywhere.